I mean, if you invite us to shit, we'll come. Uh, <laughs> yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the YGOC podcast, Young Guns of Comedy. It's our debut show. We finally <laughs> made it happen. Hey. I am one of your hosts, Fatima Ming. To my far right, we got... K-Dot. And next to her... Whisper. And over here to my left, we got... Charlie Wilson! <laughs> the most animated one, of course. So right. go ahead. Take, take no relation. Life. Right, right, right. So no relation to the singer, of course. Yeah. Nah, nah. You know, no offense to him, but you know, yeah, you y'all know. ain't Kim folk. But nah, it's, you know, so. Well, we're going to lie when we see him. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> we know your son. Exactly. Hey, <laughs> right. you can tell by the way my car shift gears. I'm not related to that nigga. I don't have. I can't. <laughs> I, I don't can't. have that legacy money, though. No money. I feel. I mean, you had to put yourself out there like that. No, you could have like. Fake it till you make it. Right, right. 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 No, no, no. I'm done. That's like a lot work. of people in LA do. That's too, too, too much work. That's too much work. Too much work. Man, okay. being fake. So, <laughs> what's happening, Wilson? Yeah, man. So, hey, man. Let's go and get. The, let's dive into it, man. You know, this is gonna be my my little thing right here. It's called. We gonna shoot our shit, baby. Let's shoot the shit, shit and get right into what's been up, man. I know this weekend my daughter daughter celebrated her seventh birthday, man. Shout out to baby girl. Hey, you know happy birthday! Which happy we were birthday. not invited to. Yeah. But yeah. We're not judging. We're not, not judging. I'm hella so. This Whisper was judging yeah. a little bit. He Omarion does. Right. He just worked with us. We not friends. I didn't know this many people was interested. And it's skating. Yeah. Whisper, whisper, yeah. We've been, we been, we been inviting y'all to brunches. We've been yeah. doing all this. Yeah. Yeah. When was I invited to brunch? We missed the memo. I'm just yeah. saying, nobody does he invite lies. to skate. I didn't know y'all wanted to go. She, she I, I skate. Right. I got my own skate. Shaking my right. head, bro. Okay. She's right. so old. So she's a she professional because she got her own. Okay. own. She got her own skate. First of all, first of all, can y'all skate? I yeah. can. A little okay. bit. A little um, don't, bit. Don't I can bit. get a lot. Listen, you, oh, you back I, I ain't no, back No, I need the little thing. Well, <laughs> then you can't skate. You're not going to have one of them First things. First of all, all right, let me that. point out Charlie Wilson rollerblades. He does not skate. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, he, right. He, well, he's doing big things. Correction. <laughs> Put some respect on my skate game, dog. I've been doing this, dog. No, what's crazy is, you know, when I was a little kid, I was raised in an all-white neighborhood. You oh. know what I'm saying? So I used to do the skate green. That was my thing. We used to oh, my okay. best friend, okay. Dylan. Dylan, shout out to Dylan. That sounds like a <laughs> white-ass name. Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Dylan. That ultra-white name. Dylan. Exactly. Taught me my skate moves, man. But that was my that was my weekend, man. We did do that. And next time I remember to shoot y'all invitations. So we can do the Thank skate you. next you time, man. We appreciate it. So what did, what did y'all do? So I can graciously decline. Hey, Dad, right, what you exactly. do this weekend, though? What you do this weekend? Let's start oh, with man, y'all. Oh, man, I had, you know, <laughs> um, I met up with an old friend. My mm-hmm. One of my good friends I grew up with, she... I had a grand um, opening for an art exhibit last night, and I went to that. It was dope. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. It was, it was lit. Yeah, it was super dope. Like, if y'all want to, please check it out. It's at the Night Gallery in downtown LA. It's uh, Tamashi Jackson. It's called Forever My Lady. Okay. It was fire. Do that. Like, yeah, fire. my friend is talented. Like, I was like, man, I got smart friends, too. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Whisper, whisper, what you do this weekend? Do anything fun? Um... I went to work, made a little money, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, then money. I went to a silent party, twerked. Okay, hey. <laughs> got my twerk on. Oh. That's how I stay young. I twerk every oh now and gosh. then. But well, that was about it. I just Well, tell the folks, maybe, maybe everybody don't know what a silent party oh, is. So oh, elaborate. Yes, a silent party is <laughs> It's such a millennial <laughs> thing. Away, it really okay. is. So you wear, like, headphones, and the DJ plays music into the headphones and a lot of times they do it in bars where other people can be there so like you don't have to be a part of the silent party um it's very weird it's almost all <laughs> to see all these people dancing to music with headphones on and there's two channels so there's one channel with like one type of music and another channel with another type of music so d- people are dancing to all different types of things well, what were the two uh, channels? What kind one of one was like '90s, and the other ones was early 2000s. Mm. So, okay, okay. you know, as soon as they played Juvenile, I took off. Okay, oh, you took <laughs> off. Back, back that ass came I can on, imagine. I took off, and then I was like, "Well, I'm done. That's my night. My right. niece, my Mission niece started to pop. I was that's like, all I got you got. Go. That's it. You we'll got back that ass up, and that's it, huh? What's our two? What you do this weekend? Pretend what you had man, going. Man, <laughs> I got freaking work done, man. I I was making some graphics for this damn show that took up most of my Friday. Friday night, mm-hmm. and then uh, has some shit going for my business, Ming Cosmetics, which is launching. That'll be coming. You know, be telling you guys more about that. Okay, get your little productive ass about right. okay. I try, I try. So yeah, I had that. I had um, some scene work I had to study for for yeah. class, and 
Yeah, man, I'm tired. Look I'm tired, but I'm oh, here. Scene and work? Yeah, yeah. All right. Act all? She's all right. 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 Y'all must get me on the way up. Get me on the way up. That's all I'm going to say. Miss Price, she's like, I folded clothes. The right. Okay. Okay. Right, you know, that's I got too. my taxes ready. She's the only one that got her taxes right. ready to file. Yeah. I'm responsible. That's why they put me in charge. I'm, I'm on top of shit. She did a whole well, bunch of baby work. Well, I'm not, nigga. And part of the shit show shit part is we're going to get some little celebration. Yes, our celebratory debut show. Please don't put nobody's eye out. Make sure it's like over in that direction. Don't don't, don't gonna, kill us. Don't. I'm not gonna do that. I'm very careful with this. Oh, shit. I don't do too many celebratory right, things right. in life. Don't let it spill neither. We ain't signed no waivers. We ain't signed no waivers. We show day. Hold on, just. Oh, oh my God. Is this I how too. women feel when it's time? You oh my God. I'm so done. Ah! I'm so done. Hilarious. Exactly. You just, ah! Sir, you know what you're doing. Look here. I'm just saying. Ah. Just pop just it off, pull it off the top. You use your jack off hand. <laughs> <laughs> y'all not gonna baby walk use me your through this. Hand. Look out now. Right? It sounds like y'all need to be popping this bottle of me. I don't listen. Okay. I give it to somebody else. I don't know. Okay, here it is. Y'all make some noise. I can't. I can't. Why yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to gently. It's a twist, Kyle P over there doing that extra. Oh. 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 Get it together. Oh. oh. Um, here's my cup. <laughs> right. She, right. Okay. My put bad. It in there for These whispers. two are not drinking. Or yes. <laughs> no, I'm going right. to drink something. You can salute, salute. Just pass that. He, he gave me this little yeah. baby amount with this foam. You got to let right. the foam go down, First alcoholic. All, yeah, chill out. I can't. Lady. You had a rough night? You got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still single, y'all. Yeah. So, uh, all right, right, right. She sound like she yeah. at the bar in Hollywood I'll on Sunset you, somewhere. I'll, I'll tell you what's not in that cup. That was $23. You need to give me some more. It ain't no dick in that cup. You going to still be upset. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it out there. I can't. You grumpy. Well, I don't know. This could be for you. Put like a dash in there because I'm not drinking right now. I will. Right. I'll take that's it. That's it. I did so well. That's it. All right. Ew. Now back to business, man. So, hey, uh, that's that's shooting your shit. So, we all kind of, we shot our shit. Okay. Oh, Lord. And all right, cool. So, and yeah. So Charlie we shot all tried off. to have a, oh, my gosh. I can't. Yeah. So, all right, we'll go ahead and keep it moving. Let's move into hot topics. Ooh. Okay, okay. Some topics, shit's been maybe. going on this past week. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, let's, let's get into let's, topic let's number some, one. Some Are y'all shit. ready? Ready for all right. poets. So, on Wednesday, personal trainer slash author Jillian Michaels, I don't know if y'all heard of her yes, before. Yeah, so we know, we know who she, she is. She said regarding Lizzo, quote, why are we celebrating her body? Why does it matter? Why aren't we celebrating her music? Because it isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes, end quote. So, of course, Damn. a yes. lot of people were like, this is body Damn. shame. Is it is? Like, what's y'all, y'all thoughts on what she had to say about um, Lizzo? I think Jillian Michaels is correct. I think what she said might have been a little rough. but H- Haterish? Yeah, she should have put a little, little sugar on it, but she like, I'm I think not gonna it's finesse correct. It. It's, it's correct. Like, we, who Lizzo is, is great, and who we is need we? to. <laughs> people. She's like, who are you people, speaking for? Oh, exactly. wait, we. side note, side note. Low key, K Dot body shamed me over the weekend. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I didn't. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, no, get, get that off because, because I'm going to clean it right up. I said, I don't know what I want to wear to this party I'm going to. Oh, the silent party? Yeah, I was like, I feel fat. And she's like, are you bloated? And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't think I'm bloated. She says because one thing you can do something about, the other thing you can't. So she was saying the bloatedness, right? You, you can't can... control, but being fat, <laughs> oh, can right. that? Right. First of all, she didn't say the no whole sensitivity. The whole t- no. I mean, I am sensitive. But like no, she <laughs> made mention of fat. I just was like, <laughs> I never oh, made, well. I never made mention of fat at all. And, and I was I'm eating at the time. And I'm I your said. real friend. And she also yeah. left. I asked her, is she on the bleed? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you on the bleed because you say I'm moody? And that's mm-hmm. when the bloated question mm-hmm. <laughs> came from. Okay. But at the end of the day, I'm just, I was trying to encourage her, like. If you think you fat, one thing you can't control, the other thing you can. So, and she didn't add, I put so. I feel me. I don't think she tried to body shame you. Yeah, I was just, I think those are legitimate I was just giving you options. She said, so you going to say fat? That's what I got from reading it. <laughs> I was but, just like. But no, I appreciate it. Kate no. always stays truthful. But no, Jillian Michaels was completely right in what she was saying. We need to have a balance of love yourself, but. Be healthy and work on your body. Mm -hmm. um, Lizzo is not going to always be 
you know, young and healthy. Like, she's okay now, but if she, let's say she I stays... I mean, we don't know if she's healthy. Yeah, but let's say she stays this <laughs> weight and she's in her 40s <laughs> and 50s. <laughs> things catch up to you, you know what I mean? So like, you still gonna be checking for Lizzo when she in her 40s <laughs> and 50s? Of course not. She'll, of course not. She'll probably be doing, like, a ve- Vegas residency Jillian, or something. Jillian, whatever, should have minded her goddamn business. Mm-hmm. Like, if Lizzo want to be out here obese and get diabetes, so what? That one had nothing to do with her. Yeah, I think she was trying to shoot a little training shot, like hire me <laughs> type deal. Well, that definitely wasn't the way to do it if right. that's what she was going for. So, But the thing is, is like Lizzo is now this representative out here. And mm-hmm. so Jillian Michaels is like, why are we celebrating that? Mm-hmm. Well, who like, ce- who celebrated? Because I think people are trying to say, or people, people are celebrating her. that she's proud of her body. Because apparently, if you're ce- a plus we're size, ce- that shouldn't we're be something to, be to glorify. Confidence. But let me yeah. ask y'all this: Does Lizzo promote unhealthy eating? Does no. she say well, I'm eating wings? Or is I she don't follow her, so I don't know. No. Me, me, that's what no, I'm talking she, about. <laughs> she's no. not the spokesperson well, for health. Obviously, but she's not out here campaigning for it. Like she's a musician. Like was somebody. Is Jillian Michaels, would she say that to Aretha Franklin? Nope. Probably. Like, uh, probably not. Why would she say anything to Like, Aretha because Michael? what I'm trying to say is, like, <laughs> Lizzo isn't the first person of a fluffy stature mm-hmm. to fluffy come out. <laughs> I'm dead. I like how gentle she put the <laughs> right? fluffy She stature. got attacked when she wanted yeah. to. Yeah, you know, to come out and, <laughs> and <laughs> be obese. Like, Jennifer Hudson was big when she came out, and then mm-hmm. she decided on when she wanted to lose weight. And and she did it, right, right, like, right, yeah, right. But Monique, she Mo- might, she Mo- might have been was pressured, though, yeah. from yeah. Monique, was, yeah. Monique was the same way. Well, that's because she wanted to transition into other things. So, like, if Lizzo doesn't have any desire to fit a mold, she gonna be singing the same songs Right. Big right. or little, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So, I do think that it's Jillian Michaels wasn't trying to offend her. I think she was just trying to say, "Hey, let's be healthy. You know, let's promote being healthy and being comfortable in our skin." Yeah, Jillian w- Michaels used to be fat; like she was fat for a long time. So, mm. you know, yeah, there definitely wasn't a better way that she could have said she's what she had to say. Still fat inside, mm. but <laughs> I, I she's still holding a grudge. Yeah, she's still <laughs> fat inside. She's skinny on outside, but she a fat bitch in the inside. <laughs> Why are we promoting fatness? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we celebrating that? She I worked hard for this body. She got uh, chocolate bars and shit stashed somewhere. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wish I could be Lizzo. But I think Lizzo's response was terrible. She uh, didn't she just say, like, if she didn't really directly respond from what I saw. She was just, like, trying to be a classy response and not really she said, throw digs in return. If my name is in your mouth, so is my body. Uh, pussy. Damn. Oh, I didn't, Damn. I didn't hear she that. She said, taste That's the flavor. Oh, I hope you would like the flavor. That's what she said on her Instagram. Damn. That's what she, she was very mature about it. it. And it's like, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> her pussy probably tastes like high cholesterol. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even... No. I, no, thought, no, I, no. Cholesterol. I thought that was a probably terrible got, it probably, it probably, I, I missed that response. It, uh, I didn't pussy hear probably that. got the recipe for the new Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm dead. I'd be like... Yo. Yeah. <laughs> it probably tastes like courtside liquor seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. true, 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 true. I can't. But, but either way, I think it is a, it's, a, it's a great thing, I will say, to just embrace who you are. Mm. You know, embrace Absolutely. Who you Everyone at. should have yeah, confidence thing, in who right? they are. So, so people will try to center that. A lot of times it's the people that don't have that level of confidence themselves. Right. So a lot of Absolutely. people will center that and always try to bring that down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. True, That's true. But everybody's entitled to their opinion. Right. Absolutely. Fat shame. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't fat shame you, friend. You, friend. Gave you, you, you just work took it out that way. You. you just took it wrong. But it's yeah, okay. Are you, are you asking yeah. for a refill? Like a refill. <laughs> um, Damn. You want mine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. She's like, he gave me a little swig <laughs> earlier. <laughs> it's one o'clock. Did you have a rough night, <laughs> man? Is, is the question. Sheesh. Man. No. Um. Lord. All the phones. All the phones. He is a terrible bartender. Yeah. Yeah. Really? That's Am not, I, that's not his day job. Um, I can't. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm trying to I get lit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, yeah. Um, yeah hopefully, hopefully, Jillian, and the, and the thing about it is Jillian Michaels doubled down. She didn't try to clean it up. She didn't try to like, you know. Well, she said she, she was like, blunt. Like, that oh. was her opinion. She said yeah, she came opinion. back and was like, I stand by what I said, which is which is good. But yeah, everybody. And that's what more people should do when people like put their foot in their mouth, celebrities or whatever. Don't come back with a fake ass apology. Like, stand right. by what the fuck you said. No, you but you're you going to double down, double down. Like, no, Lizzo, you big bitch. <laughs> 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 you need to run, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The oh. biggest loser is additioning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Stupid. Gosh. Okay, well, is that is that all of our thoughts on uh, 
this yeah, I, mean, time I, I hope she don't get diabetes because then that'll be a right that was well I Whisper? told you what are you done with this topic? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> clearly, this is your expertise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's body shaming or no? See, that's, that's that was two. body that's shaming. Two. That's like two. She, she said, I was trying to say over here. I wasn't even, See you that? know. But all right. So moving along. I said fluffy. Um, <laughs> so actually, why don't you introduce number two? It's because you brought it up about oh. your, your homegirl, Lonnie. Let's talk about it. Lonnie Love. And I yeah. can tell you. Exactly I got so much to say. <laughs> <laughs> so Lonnie Love earlier this week was discussing... Um, uh, Kevin Hart's, you know, uh, documentary where he was talking. About, well, she talked about this segment where his he, he discussed cheating on his wife. Mm -hmm. Exactly what she said is, I don't speak for the black community, but I do think that a lot of black men don't know how to have true, faithful relationships. <coughs> mm -hmm. They think because they have money, they have power, and that they can treat women any kind of way. <laughs> Look at Nick's face. Right, his whole face. Then she says, and uh, no, it is not across the board, but it does happen a lot in the black community because we're dealing with <coughs> slavery. And Man. we are descendants Damn. of slavery. And because our families were broken up, we still don't have an idea Jesus, about take the whole it's how, a nigga how to have togetherness. Sitting somewhere, he's like, I heard her. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> fucked her off. So, <laughs> what do y'all think about that? One, what do you think about... Um, I think she was very contradictory in her statements. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very much so. Because she was like, I don't... Sp I'm not speaking for the black community, but then mention slavery. Like, why do you so have to prelude <laughs> it with you that? You're speaking like uh, <laughs> to the black girl. community. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> I just think she didn't have... It was just a, a her opinion straight off the top because she didn't have any facts. She didn't have mm -hmm. anything statistically to back her response to she might just been talking about her experiences no I she, guess with she black was men. trying to generalize it yeah now do you think that money plays a part because that's what she was she also said they they think that they have they have money and they have power they can treat women any kind it of way. I, can't even, I can't even but get through the whole segment because it was annoying because first she said it was black men and she jumped to men with wealth and power like bitch which is it are you talking about just black men are you talking about rich black men it's are you just talking about men uh, right. and you know women mean? in general yeah. yeah. What about right. you, Charlie? You the man here? No, nah, so. I'm finna go to the bathroom, man. It's <laughs> not my segment, man. Yes, it is, man. <laughs> it's not my Give, segment, give man. your input. We want, your, we want your opinion. How do we? How, do you think a lot of black men cheat? Black men don't cheat. I, I think see, a lot of I men cheat. That. Period. It's not. A, I saw a that on a tweet. Man. Black men I don't cheat. Yeah, I don't. I Why don't. do you think men cheat, though, Charlie? <clears throat> Let me get some else for you. Oh, man, <laughs> there we go. Because um, you. No, but uh, uh, tread lightly. I, don't, I won't. I won't <laughs> say that it comes with money and power because broke dudes cheat. Hella well, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you know, we could all. I'm sure everybody can relate. I've been cheated on by broke dude before, but I think with power and money, that's always been the leader. Because think about our culture. You know what I'm saying? When you see us with money and power, we know how that looks, mm -hmm. and we know that most women are attracted to that. That's why rappers and ball players they can just walk into a room. And be, oh yeah, I know who that is, and just off the rip. They're gonna get every. Uh, they're gonna get a lot of women. A lot of women. A lot of women are gonna feed and kind of flow into that. Yeah. So I think, but at the end a lot of the day, that's, the that's a that choice, that comes with that. right? Like she's trying to say, like <clears throat> it's generationally <throat> passed down to right. us. That they just are <laughs> <trying> <laughs> to you know, genetically, we are cheaters. Like Through our black men are cheaters. Through culture. And mm -hmm. I, but it's not cheating. Is a choice. You make yeah. a you make a conscious decision to cheat. Yeah. Right. If you're using you know, if yeah. you're using something you saw somebody else do, that's your excuse for why you're cheating. Right. It's not generation. You weren't sure. taught that. Nobody taught nobody to cheat. If anybody taught you to cheat, you taught yourself mm -hmm. because <laughs> you figured it out yeah. because yeah. you wanted to do something. Mm -hmm. So like you have to. To me, you have to break down the fact of cheating. <laughs> like it's not. It's anybody can cheat. It's right. a choice. Right. You can be broke. You can have money and power. Yeah. You just have more options when you have money and power. Yeah. Right. But and it's more not temptation. So, yes. Right. And but I think it's, it's not something. Think somebody passed down right. to us. I think it comes down to like there's two main factors. I think number one, like similar to what K Dot just said, I think a big part of it is your character. Uh, if it's just a man, you just an ain't shit dude, and right. it's in your character. I really don't care what race you are. Mm -hmm. You might do that. Like right. it, I don't think it has anything to do with anything else. And another thing is, I feel like in our, I don't, I don't think it's necessarily just in the black community, but in general, women a lot of times are definitely more forgiving when it comes to cheating. So I think a lot of men may feel like it's not a big consequence. Like I don't think they have yeah. a big fear of losing their woman. It's kind of, I don't think um, I don't think most men if if you're not a ain't shit dude, mm -hmm. I don't think you ever step outside your door with the intent and say I'm gonna cheat today. Right. Yeah. But 
a lot of men kind of can have a mindset that there's not a real fear of losing their woman. Yeah. So it's kind of like, if it happens, you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll smooth it over or, like, whatever. It's not, whereas men are more, it's harder for them to forgive for sure. a woman to cheat, for whereas sure. it's, it's definitely ten times more likely that a woman might be but like. But this goes back to that just conditioned behavior of yeah. both parties and what's yeah. been allowed. And uh, like when a woman first meets a guy, they want to know how many hoes you got. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. have any kids? <laughs> what's up? I mean, that's not a question. Uh, I ask, I ask already, you how many hoes you, you got. Already, but right. Well, I say, yeah, that's a question. how many you people know, are you checking? Seeing. But you checking. But why does that matter, Y'all though? checking. That yes. shouldn't matter to you. I want to know. If we're talking going. about if you just meet a guy, you sh- it shouldn't matter. Like whatever I what do, you if you just What you trying to know met. what's up for though? Like for what? Yeah, like because we. I don't I need w- to know who you're dealing with. Because my thing is like, oh, okay. if you're dealing with, I I won't even say how many people are you dealing with. I want to know your intentions. Mm. Like, yeah. Well, what are, are your you? intentions? Put your intentions on the table first. Exactly. Well, I always no do. put I'm your gonna, intentions on the table first. My, my <laughs> intentions are always let's we're we're gonna date, get to know each other, and potentially marry. My my goal. So your is intention is marriage. My intention with dating is always marriage. I'm not dating because I need company <coughs> or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I think men do that. They mm-hmm. date because right. I'm I'm lonely right now and I yeah. want someone. But that's always my intention. I don't necessarily say that. And that's so. In that's the, the opposite on the of first men's. date. It's opposite say, of men's intentions. Mm-hmm. You know that. On the first date, I always say... But some men do want to get married. Some men are looking for a wife, so they're going to date with that intention. Then you got fuck boys that she would have done with their intentions. Charlie been out the game for a while. I've been out of the commission for a while. He's still a man. Right. I've been out of the commission for a while, but I don't think men just say, you know what, I'm, I'm, you know, at this, I think guys may have it in their mind, you know, I'm ready to settle down and look for a wife in their mind. But to actually say, I'm actually dating mm-hmm. and I'm trying to find the right options for somebody that I want to marry, I think it's just tough right now because we're so saturated with options. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So As are women. It's just well. it, it facts. I think that's something that makes it complicated. Everybody just kind of playing their <laughs> playing they hand. <laughs> you don't know what somebody got in the other hand. You're just getting them in on them. You're showing them, you're showing them what hand you want them to see. He's showing you a hand he wants you to see. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. like what you were saying, like when you first meet somebody, like it's not necessarily like whispers. So I wonder how many people you're dating. Like that's irrelevant if I just meet you. Right. So, so well, I, I mean, I would like to know if you're dating several women. So here's women where I have a problem with mm-hmm. you. Like you're like these mm-hmm. are my intentions, mm-hmm. right? You're like she I'm looking. Got an issue with I'm that. looking <laughs> for dating. I'm looking for because I kind of just like I be wanting to get other perspectives, my nigga. Yeah. Right. right. But this you're this? like my intention is like. A, B, and C. I want to get married. But your question is, how many people have you been with? What does that have to do with your Not intentions? Not been with, but how many I mean, people are you dating at yeah, the time? Yeah, but what does that have to do with your intentions? Like, how right. does that help you gauge what you're in line for? If they tell yeah. you, if they say, like, oh, you know, I'm currently seeing three or four people, you turn so what, off. So what that mean? That you're right. not going to yeah. date them? Like, if he was to say that? Well, I mean, you I setting like, yourself why up for failure. Why are you seeing several right. people? Because but of that's none of your business because right. I'm entertaining you. Right. Uh-huh. Like, and if you want to be that person, right. like, you get my attention. Like, mm-hmm. that's part of the dating. That's part of the chase. Like, nobody mm-hmm. shows their full hand, like, mm-hmm. right. like, up front. And, like, for your expectation to be, like, you're going to tell me A, B, and C, and then we going to move forward. Right, right, right. You setting yourself yeah, up for like failure. You, you get to know yeah, him, and true. you yeah. see, like, if, if this is something that you want to take seriously, because you might meet him and go on two dates and be like, I don't want to fuck with this dude like yeah. that. So. Also, I feel like it's good to know if they're dating <coughs> several people in the beginning, just because when we get to a pivotal point, I can say, so we're going to be exclusive. You're going to cut off. See, that I knew that, that was coming. You but you can do that. Women want to be exclusive so soon. Yeah, but you can do that. You can do that, so you can do that so without so knowing. Charlie. But you can do that with not knowing because yeah. that's a <clears> feeling. <throat> like, if you are, if this person is consistently seeing you, clearly the time that they're spending with these other people that they are initially entertained has right. decreased. Right. Uh-huh. So they right. don't need you to right. be like right. <laughs> they keeping they tabs right. on like right. where right. we going right. to be in our relationship. I agree. <laughs> at I this like, time. And once you, have, once once you have a conversation of, of being exclusive, it's like that's a given that anything else you got going on is shut right. down. It's like that's what this Whisper, conversation what I'm telling means. you is you're running niggas off. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Stop <laughs> asking these questions. Don't ask that on the first date. You date well, well, I mean, date track stars. My thing is I haven't, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I haven't uh, been on a date in a while. I, I mean, I've been seeing. We know. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I've been seeing someone consistently, but I'm not like, I ha- I'm not out here dating really. You know what I mean? But you know. Anyway, back to the cheating. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I hate when men like men, men, men. <laughs> men. You, if you date men, men, <laughs> uh, in the wrong. Say club. like, oh, it just happened. Like, oh, like they slipped, slipped and fell in some pussy. Right. Like. Let's call it like what it I is. I hate that when men say, 
oh, it just happened. You know what I mean? Or they try to flip it on you when they cheat, like, well, it's because you've been having me stressed out. And, da, 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 da. and it's like, sir, you could have talked to me. Yeah, we know that's bullshit. So let's <laughs> ask Charlie. <laughs> you could have well, talked to me. Let's ask Charlie. Do you think, like, do y'all think that we're, like, Dumb, like if you say some shit, like oh, it just happened, Charlie. Like, <laughs> you can I'm decline. Just saying, you I'm can just decline saying, no, this you interrogation. Can't. No, you can't. Like, <laughs> talk about this ain't girl talk. I'm just speedy. <laughs> speedy. 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 speedy is at Netflix. He's speedy. not here. Speedy. Speedy's speedy's not home. Home. Right. Exactly. And, you're not, and you're not the leader of niggas. <laughs> uh, you are today. <laughs> but like I said, I think a part of that is is like what I said before. Like they feel like it's not going to be a big consequence. So right. That's but she hit it right on the head. I think it's up to women to instill the boundary and make the boundary strong enough to make niggas act Absolutely. right. Absolutely. It's up to y'all. Here's the thing. If if you find out he's cheating or he's hiding his phone from you, or who was this and why was that? Mm-hmm. And right. you're going to spend hours chasing it and, and interrogating him. Don't do that, that sis. That why would he change? If he can give right. you a bullshit answer yeah. and that works, why would he not give you another bullshit hour the next week? You still there. I yeah, feel like if, I feel like if every Silly woman bitch. puts you basically, <laughs> you basically, basically just saying I'm gonna talk for three hours until you feed me some bullshit and then tell me that oh, everything's gonna be tell okay. Tell me something I want to hear to right. make me feel tell better me for taking okay. your cheating ass back. Like no, right. I think right. I think that that should be. I know it's easier said than done when your feelings are involved, but I think cheating is something that universally should be a deal breaker. Because I feel like, aside from putting your hands I on don't somebody... Agree. As, of course you do, but let me finish my point, and you can disagree <laughs> with me, friend. Um, I feel like, aside from putting your hands on somebody, I feel like... Because if you're in a... If you have a, a relationship where y'all have agreed to be monogamous and exclusive, and then you step out of that... Now, if you're in a real relationship with somebody, I think we all can agree that at some point, it's likely that y'all are having unprotected sex. Mm-hmm. At, oh. And if not all the time, but My at some point. <laughs> hey, mama, but we, we hey. grown folks and we having a grown folks conversation. She's saying consistently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. He's not but, even wrong. Um, but yeah, but no, especially so if you're like sleeping with someone and y'all think that y'all are exclusive right. or whatever and y'all are da 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 and then you cheat with somebody. Some people are dumb enough to cheat and don't use protection, but that's a whole other conversation. Mm-hmm. It's like, so now you're putting this person's health at risk. So I right. feel like that's the most disgusting thing that you can do. And it's so disrespectful on top of, aside from being physical with somebody, mm-hmm. I feel like that's extremely disrespectful. And I think it should be a deal breaker. But go ahead and disagree that's with me, k That's your deal breaker <laughs> because you put so many 10s and 20s. That's so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the such fuck a is. prude. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not a prude because you're sticking your dick in multiple chicks. Like, it's oh. Okay, but, but, like, no, no, no. it's gross. It's, hey, thank you. It it's is, fucking uh, disgusting. You have, to, you have to be forgiving. Like, you can you, forgive. You, I don't got to be with you, though. Listen, you don't. But this brings forth an interesting conversation. I just heard somebody having a discussion somewhere that said, you know, you've been in a, a relationship or marriage for 20, 30 years, and there's a mishap. You're going to throw it all away and start fresh and then be with someone else that you can run into the same thing with next week? Do you throw all yeah. of that away? Right. That's just a because, different circumstance. Because, no, it's not a you, different circumstance. No, if I've been in a relationship with you for six months and you cheat, I'm moving on. If you right. cheat on me and we've been deep in a marriage for 20 mm-hmm. years, we got three kids. Mm-hmm. That should that's, make it all the worse. We have to have a conversation. And and the thing about it is, a twenty year marriage things happen. You mm-hmm. you you know you fall out of love. Your mm-hmm. your Y'all spouse. Y'all live in a fairy tale land. I'm like just saying, relationships you know? are work. Like relationships yeah. are work. Right, but like saying. it you may take six months for somebody to figure. Like just because y'all vibe don't mean y'all in the same place in life. Right. Like, yeah. but if you see something in that individual that they are going there, we everybody got to bump their head. Right. Yeah. Sometimes everybody got to make mistakes, but like y'all want to protect yourself so much. Like I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to be hurt. That's part of life. Mm-hmm. Life is gonna hurt you. Relationships mm-hmm. are gonna hurt you. You are never gonna go into something and it's gonna a hundred percent be what you expect it to be. Right. So you're just putting well, up that's, more. That's a part of look, a relationship. You, we get you, that. You like you, all, you take a chance of getting hurt. You putting up more that. boundaries when you're putting all these conditions on <laughs> what like I won't tolerate this and I won't tolerate. You won't know what you tolerate once you're in love. All that shit is out the window. But, <laughs> But so that's not necessarily being, true. There, okay. there are different types of hurt that will happen in a relationship. Cheating is not one that has to happen. Exactly. Or that no, it doesn't. To, like or that you have to put up with. You exactly. know what no, I mean? no, you know, I'm not saying I'm not saying put up with it, but I'm just saying like you just you don't know what the circumstances was that made you you don't even know maybe you're the cheater. Like you're only you're just looking at it from the other side. Mm-hmm. What if you cheat? Like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you realize you made a mistake mm-hmm. and that nigga do you like you trying to do him. 
but you you know you can be better and like let me show you that I won't do this again. You got to put yourself in those shoes too. Here's what I would say to that though. <laughs> yeah. I think it really comes down to just like trying to understand your person. And if you got mm-hmm. somebody that's making these mistakes or that's not making you feel secure or someone you were in a relationship for 6 months or 6 years, mm-hmm. but you still you know, they're not, you know, intimate with you and talking to you like, babe, like, I'm look, right. I'm, I'm here for you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, because look, it's work. Let me show you. But if they brushing you off, like, man, whatever, and you having to chase them down and you having yeah. to do all this work yeah. and extract so much behavior and extract so much just for them to listen to you, then you playing yourself. Right. And right, they disrespect right. you. Good, so it's got to come back down to. <laughs> know, Why you sound surprised you made a good point? I'm oh, done. That was I can't. good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's got to know your person. Because if, yeah. if I respect you, it's like, look, man, look, I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? I can own up for where, you know, I may come up short. I'm transparent what I am. I've been through some real shit. we learning each other. We're figuring things out. But, hey, you know, this happened. You know what I'm saying? You want to yeah. cut me off because this happened? All right, bet. That's you. But. I feel like you could still be doing yourself a disservice First by of cutting all, me Charlie, off for a flaw. Don't you know say, all right, so, back, because you're going to go cry in the car. Don't even do that. Oh. <laughs> all right, back. Fuck you, too, bitch. Fuck niggas, you. Hey, niggas, <laughs> hey, niggas always say, all right, back. Niggas always say, all right, back. They be all in oh, his whole so feelings. You in but your no, feelings. But no, I do agree. Like, relationships are work. They are difficult. And things do happen that can cause men or women to cheat. Like, I was trying to make that point. You know, you be in a yeah. relationship, a 20-year relationship, Things happen. You can get no, I you get can you. you can lose that uh, connection or whatever. Your your partner might not seem as attractive. So the way to you regain that I mean? connection is to go fuck somebody else. No, no. Or, well, or let's stress let's and pressure circle of back life. to what it really was. Like we're supposed to be talking about black men cheating. Mm-hmm. Black. Here's two more yeah, minutes. We're go. not we're Here. not really talking about that. <laughs> Here, here's saying. what I will say, too, is that it takes both parties. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, if one person isn't open yet to having the discussion about the pain or the issue, but the other person is, the other person has got to be willing to be patient and listen and kind of go through that. But mm-hmm. a lot of times, some men don't have the discipline or the capacity to sit and argue or the emotional intelligence right. to really articulate right. and, what know. they're saying. So if you with somebody like that, it may be a little bit more difficult because they may not express themselves to you. But that's bit. something that you can kind of figure out early on, like someone's you would think. emotional These intelligence. These are all excuses. And availability. Next topic. Next topic. First of all, I would like to say, <laughs> K-Dot is clearly a cheater. No, I'm not, no, I'm not a cheater. Like, I just keep it real. Like, y'all sitting up here on some bullshit, and I just want to move on. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Next well, topic. Yeah, anyway, next topic. to wrap it up, Lonnie Love is crazy, and mm. people were no, trying to- She's hurt like you two clearly are. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm great. I'm not remotely hurt, but we'll move on. So let's talk about uh, everyone's favorite first lady, Michelle Obama. Um, mm. She's launching an IGTV series called A Year First um, that's basically going to follow four college students as they navigate their first year of undergrad. So I think that's pretty cool. What that's do you guys think? I think it's cool. That's all you have to say. Yeah, I mean when that's gonna... boring. Like good for Michelle. She's been doing a lot of things <laughs> in the community and is it gonna be like a documentary or something? Yeah, I think it said it's gonna be like like for six months or so. Nice. And document their whole thing. Like do y'all feel like that's helpful for people, well, kids that are maybe coming out of high school and maybe it can help them determine if they wanna do college or not? Because some people might think it's something different than what it actually is once you get to college. No, does it help them to understand if they can afford it? it? <laughs> like yeah, that's what college that's is bitch. really about. Yeah. Like shit, can you afford to go? Can you? Afford <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm not opposed a lot to of the kids, knowledge. A lot of kids want to go to college, but like you said, it's like they can't. Yeah, they can't afford it or or whatever. But you really have to. In high school, hopefully, you have parents who are in in your business and can help you with things as far as programs and stuff to get you into into school. My, nigga, my you parents at back home they have a program where if you they college parents, educated. My my dad went to college, my mother didn't. But my dad went to college through the military, so that's a different experience. But my mm. dad was very like you have to go to college. So he mm-hmm. found things out when I was in high school and so he told me about it's something <coughs> called an MTAP program back home where if you go to the community college for two years, you can go to the university uh, for the final two years, and it's like half the price. Oh, okay. So That's what's up. it really just has to do with you doing Excuse research. There's a lot of money out there for college students. You just got to get out there and look for it. You can literally. It's a lot of research, though, but like there's a lot of yeah. options out there to not have mm-hmm. to like take off, take on, on all those loans. Exactly. No, teacher, just like teach that. your kids financial. Teach your kids finances young. Yeah. So, yeah. so they, they'll know how to maneuver if they decide they want to go to college. 
there's no way that they'll ever be able to pay for college out of money, out of working money. There's right. There's just no right. way. So, yeah, you're right. You can <clears throat> save. Parents can save. There's always going to be a balance. There's always going to be something. So you need to you need to know about um, what they what your town or whatever offers as far as scholarships and stuff because it's expensive. Damn, she just, she just killed everybody drinking. They was over there listening to podcasts, filling the application out right now. Let me just fill it. Right? Well, no, I mean, you can, <laughs> I but can't you afford need to, this well, shit. Right. <laughs> you need to do delete, research. Delete, delete, delete. You need to do, because college is a business, period. Right, right, right. right. And they're going to get you on books on, oh, you taking three credits. Three credits is $2,500 or, or, you know, whatever. So, and you have to, I mean, my parents were both working, but my brother was in college at the time, and I still didn't qualify for financial aid. My parents was like, what type of money do they think we got? You Girl, know I mean? my right. mama wouldn't even give me her information. She <laughs> was <laughs> like, nah. <laughs> sure. Say, so, hey, they going to have to figure it out. Yes. <laughs> That's my business. I remember my, my uh, ex. He had some funny stuff. I think his parents was doing some funny stuff with their taxes because they refused to give him any of their tax information. And he got, mm. and that's when I had to pay his student uh, oh my pay his tuition. But I was like, wow, what they doing that funny stuff with? A lot of people be doing some weird shit with their taxes. Anywho. That happens. But um, Yeah, I don't think a lot of kids were, are going to watch the whole Michelle Obama thing. Mostly adults, but I don't I'm going to watch it. I'm going to try that. I bet Are you a kid? Uh, no, I, 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 I would <laughs> watch it. When the last time I checked if you, it com- If it comes on Netflix, I'll watch it with my daughter, though. It gives her something to look at, look toward. You know what I'm saying? It's going to pop. It's going to come out clean. She's not going to sit there too long. <laughs> All right. I love Michelle Obama. I try. Really I'll try. <laughs> she's, a, she's super fine. Play with her new toys. Mm-hmm. Um, before we uh, take our break, let's talk about um, probably one of the most controversial couples of uh, 2019. April and Lil Fizz, who <laughs> allegedly <laughs> have nice. broken up after all of the she struggles right. of, you know, smashing the homie and everyone feeling like it's right or it's wrong. And now they've unfollowed and blocked each other on social media, which is like leading everyone to believe they broke up. And yeah, like, how do y'all feel about that? Charlie. <laughs> y'all don't look at this. Let's start with Charlie. 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 <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Speed up. Yeah, <laughs> after all Speed. that, man. Shit. He's at Netflix, sir. <laughs> hey, I mean, at the end of the day, I think, I mean, I, I can understand both arguments of how close they were, how cool they were, and how that may look wrong in some eyes, but I can also understand, like, people that are going Charlie, through shit in their Charlie. own life. <laughs> let me finish. Yeah, let that man finish. I can also understand how they might want to just be like, hey, man, we don't give a fuck what anybody else got going. This is who I'm into right now, so fuck it. Fuck everybody else. This is going to do us. And they just made that decision to just be like, I don't care what nobody else think. So I, I, it's, it's hard to hate on somebody else's love when they found love and for us to try to tell them that they shouldn't be able to stay in that love. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, think, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think it's fucked up of how it happened. Man. I will say that. Mona Scott, please call in. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what happened with April and Fizz. <laughs> I mean, you put that together. Was, we knew it was coming. Like we knew they were gonna break up. We knew, and Mona Scott probably did orchestrate that because that made the last season popping. But we yep. knew that we knew they was gonna break up, and it's stupid on Fizz's part because lost the whole bag. You lost the lost the friend if he said they was never friends, yeah, and you lost money, the bag. Man. You never yep. gonna go on tour with him. He's never gonna work with you again because you're disrespectful. Right. Yeah. Good point. He must really believe in their love. That's what the thing. When you go, when you go, clearly uh, not because they the fuck broke up now. No, so. wait a minute. What if they're secretly they? broken up? What if they're secretly broken yeah. up? Yeah, damn. You can't do that. You got to stay together forever. That's gotta be right. Your person. Exactly. Hilarious. All that shit. Y'all aren't allowed to break up <laughs> after no, all of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supposedly yeah, they broken up just, now. You should have went and got the tats, some teardrops, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> no. Nigga, that's you forever. You can't ruin a relationship with your partner and then. After a year or two years, it didn't work out. They're like, dang. I just feel like I'm mad that they tried to backpedal and try to say they wasn't like Fizz, really you friends. Cheated. Like, you're such a liar. Like, y'all was whole friends. You calling April sis a couple seasons right. ago. Now right. y'all, like, come on. Like, right. just stand on your shit. Right. But whatever. Yeah. I, yeah. I just can't get whatever. past <laughs> the fact that he was, he was around Omarion's kids as like mm-hmm. their uncle. Mm-hmm. And then you, Step now daddy. you, now you, niggas, I don't, just can't, niggas don't care. Trash. Niggas don't care, bro. Niggas don't care. I, I learned at a young age, whether when I was 12, 13, 14, I was like, man, niggas is gonna let you down. 
<laughs> like just get just get over that shit. Mm. Niggas gonna let you down. You don't you don't want to expect it from the people closest to you. But if you if you got a bad girl that's around you, everybody close to you is looking and drooling. Niggas, that's what niggas do. Mm. You expect more from your closest homies, but that's what niggas do. Well, clearly that wasn't. And, and females, clearly that wasn't his and closest ladies, homies. And ladies, y'all gotta <laughs> get it too, cause y'all gotta get it too, cause you know you can't bring everybody around your new man. You know what I'm saying? I you don't. can't go. Showing right. who your man are, cause you know some of your girlfriends that ain't had a man in how long? Uh, exactly. You know, Y'all years. Y'all really talking like gonna start being that friendly. shit was a real relationship. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, they they made it seem like it was. Yeah, I mean, but like <laughs> that's why I ain't really commenting too much on it. Like, oh, she brought mm. like he was around her kids. Like they mm. was getting paid. Yeah, yeah like trash. so a lot of stuff that you would do in your normal relationship. I'm sure you will. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying if somebody paying you, you gonna do it. Yeah. Mm. So like, I mean, I value everybody's opinion, but like, that's TV. Like, he still smashed. Yeah, but they still TV. (laughs) Like, lucky for him. Thank you for that whisper. I'm just saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nigga cheat. Cheat. Need to put put that on the shirt. He still smashed. Yeah, Yeah, he still (laughs) still smashed. (laughs) After a Myron though, that's how Myron was. Like, nigga, I hit first. Oh my god. (laughs) Penis sharing. All right, so. All right, y'all, we're going to take a quick uh, five-minute-ish break or whatever. Maybe go eat some chicken or something. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back. I was so black. It was, yeah. but it's cool, though. All right, we'll be back, But y'all. that Ralph chicken is fire. Hey. Exactly. Hey. Wonderful. Hey. He got the bass. I got the bass. We got the bass. He got the wings. 